music theory but we only talk about it in the context of just seven notes so that we can stay away from all the language that baffles a lot of people until we get comfortable with how these seven notes work because what we'll do is we'll get comfortable with the seven notes and then we'll slowly but surely start to reveal and apply the names that are commonly used to describe how those seven notes function but we're just going to double down on the seven notes for quite a while so I am very, very excited today because, uh, you know, if you remember last week's video or the last time we got together, uh, we talked about the perfect fifth, which is a really cool thing. But what I'm excited about today is that one middle note that we put in between the root note and the top note of the perfect fifth that really helps us hear the, the major and the minor triads. And the real purpose of today's video is this. Not necessarily that you can say that's major and that's minor at this point, as much as you can identify a, the mood or the feeling or the vibe or the emotion that the major and the minor triads create with sound. So that's going to be our goal today is just to do that one thing, which is to identify that feel, that mood or whatever that is created by the major triads and the minor triad. So along with that, I'm going to introduce my altered ego, and he is known as Trevor the Drummer. Why don't you say hi to everybody, Trevor? So as you can see, this is going to be common. Trevor doesn't really spend a lot of time with words. Typically, you wind up hearing him play rhythms, or he just he says what he says to say, says what he has to say without words. So I'll do my best to, to kind of translate what he's saying if you're not sure of what he's saying. So with Trevor introduced and stuff like that, one thing I got for you though is this. I would like to know what your instrument of choice is and Trevor wants to know as well. Isn't that right, Trevor? Right, because remember, even though I use a bass, I want you to understand this is not a music, this is not a bass channel as much as it is a music theory channel and I just decided to use the six string bass to demonstrate the ideas and the concepts that, that are talked about in these seven notes that we call chords and triads and scales and all that music theory stuff. So what's your instrument of choice? Let me know down, uh, down in the comments. And that includes like the human voice and even the tap dancers because they do some awesome rhythm with those tap shoes. So I'd really like to hear about that. So with all that being said, now it is time for us to get into this whole thing about the major and minor triads and how that middle note makes all the difference in the world. So I'm going to start noodling around here. First of all, I want to get my metronome going. It's going at about 90 beats a minute right now. And what I'm playing with is just the root note and the top note that we could make a triad with. So it just sits there and just kind of rolls along. But if I stayed on this all the time, for me personally, I'd start to wonder, okay, so what are you going to do? Right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce the middle note. And what I want you to do is I want you to tell me is or write down how it makes you feel or the mood or the vibe or the emotion that it draws out of you. So here we go, right? So, how about this one? Trevor, what do you think? How does this make you feel? How about now? So if you notice there, 
there's one of those the the first one that i played when i added that middle note what i added was what's known i wound up creating a major triad and for me personally the way that i describe it and hopefully you picked up on it from trevor over here is that it has a much kind of happier vibe to it it's a lot more exciting like one song is a great example of three major triads that are used that make that song as happy as it is is if you listen to Katrina and the waves walking on sunshine right that's pretty much that tight that entire song is built with three major triads and that's why it has that kind of happy vibe to it and then I've switched from a major triad to a minor triad and if you saw Trevor's face it kind of has that kind of sad vibe to it uh, not quite depressing, but definitely not the happy kind of style. Like a song that's a great example of that is the Bill Withers song, Ain't No Sunshine, because that song is actually built with three minor triads. And then when you listen to Bill's voice, you can just hear the wail, you can hear the lament in his voice because that one that he loves is gone. So that's how those minor triads really kind of create that vibe in the song that, that you can hear the guy's heart breaking and aching. So that's what's really cool. So this is what I want to do now. I want to put you all to the test again. This time Trevor's not going to get in because I want you to give it a try on your own. So I'm going to get my metronome going again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a root five progression. And then... Uh, after I do that progression, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into one, either the major or the minor chord progression that it would follow by just adding the, the middle note of the triad. And then I'm going to do the root five again, and then I'm going to do the other uh, brand of triad so that you can hear the difference and see what happens. So here it comes, right? So it's just root five. Now I'm going to go through the progression. So here it is. So root five root five root five now here comes the first of the triads so how did that one make you feel now i'm going to go back to the root five or the root top excuse me now I'm going to do the other brand or the other version. So here we go. So hopefully the goal here, right, was just to help you hear the difference between a major triad and a minor triad. And you notice that I'm not telling you which triads that I'm playing. I'm not giving you a note name or a triad name because before we get into that, I believe that there's an intuitive feeling that we have for what's happy and what's sad. And if you're able to hear and feel that sad triad or that happy triad, it will immediately narrow down your focus based on the, based on the, the top, excuse me, the root top notes of the perfect fifth, they tell you like what, what the root note of the triad or the chord is. They give you that. But now if you can say that it's happy, then you can say that it's a major chord. And if you can say that it's got a sad vibe to it, you can say that it's a minor chord. And then you can figure out where you need to place your fingers on your instrument uh, to, to draw out that chord that you want as, as best as you can. So, um, so, so I am curious, it's like, does this make sense to you, this idea that these chords and every chord really kind of creates a mood or a vibe or an atmosphere and the basics of all those is either the major triad or the minor triad. So I just want to know, does that make sense to you? Is that, uh, does, does communicating this thought as more like an emotion or a feeling does it make it a lot easier to understand a major triad or a minor triad? Uh, if it does, definitely put your comments down below. And if it does not, definitely put your comments down below and drop your questions in there because I would love to put together whatever is necessary to narrow that focus and directly answer the questions that you have so you can understand this concept. Over in the next few videos, we're going to really kind of dissect these major and minor triads and things like that and help you better understand from a real music theory perspective why 
which why why it's I don't want to say it's why we call them majors and minors because it's those are just labels that we put on triads but what I want to do is I want to break down what actually separates a triad labeled as a major triad from a triad that's labeled as a minor triad and it's I think it's a relatively simplistic system but it does take a little bit of time to explain so we'll get into that the next time around so my friends that's what I've been after this week in particular is just to take you through the major and the tr minor triads in order for you to be able to identify the feel, the mood, the vibe, uh, the emotion that they draw out of you. Either, you know, like, like I said, with the Katrina and the Wave song, right? It's just a, it's three chord progression, you know, it's just a three major triad chord pro progression. <laughs> like Bill Withers ain't no sunshine and I'm just going to kind of work the baseline on that one at least the way that I play it is just but really it's Bill Withers voice that ache that you hear in his voice that translates and communicates that idea of kind of like the the heartache that he feels because his girl or his, you know, because his girl is gone, right? So that's all that I wanted you to get out of this particular one is just can you identify the emotion that the that a particular chord creates in you? Because if you can do that, you can quickly say that's a minor chord or that's a major chord. Even if you can't name the chord and say, well, that's an A minor or that's an E flat major, even if you can't name those, you can tell by what you feel whether it's a major or a minor triad, which is huge when you're trying to learn a new piece of music or you're trying to pick things up by ear. If you can hear and, and understand that feeling, you can very quickly translate it over to this idea that it's major or it's a minor triad. So, like I said, I would love to hear it, see your comments, your thoughts, and your questions down below because it's very important to me. I really want to know, did I actually hit the mark? Because that's the ultimate goal every single time. And along with that, I would certainly appreciate the likes and the share and actually the subscribes. And hugely, I would love for you to share this with other people because the ultimate goal is to help people understand how music works without overcomplicating it with the, the language of music and some of the ways that musicians have tried to describe it and and wound up frustrating a lot of people because they make it like all technical and it's not mm -hmm. folks all that it is is just seven notes in any given key signature pretty much used in any song and once you understand this concept and how these seven notes work in concert with each other and how we move through different progressions over these seven notes it'll make things a lot better a lot easier to understand as you start cracking the code so that's really it. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Trevor, what do you think? Is it time to get out of here? All right. So according to Trevor, he thinks it's time to get out of here as well. So guess what? We're done. This is the Bass and Triad channel. We are trying to make it so simple that even Trevor, the drummer, can understand this whole thing in music theory. So with that being said, that is our rumor. We are sticking to it, and we will see you on the next video.